to the Final Four. We join you today from Hartford, Connecticut. This will be the site of the American Athletic Conference Tournament in a little more than a week from now. And today, the defending national champion, UConn Huskies, meet the number 21 team in the country, the SMU Mustangs. Kevin Ollie now in his third season as the head coach at UConn, played for Larry Brown back in his NBA days, two years under Larry with the Philadelphia 76ers. We'll talk more about that relationship because Larry has played a huge role in Kevin Ollie's philosophies as a coach. We're underway from the XL Center. UConn controls the tip. UConn coming off a 60-49 over East Carolina. The jump shot goes to open things up. Rodney Purvis shooting just 41 percent from the field through for larry brown's team boatwright the blow by the floater is good and a foul ryan boatwright it was pretty good from smu's standpoint manual really dictated defensively here boatwright turns the corner and watch him get that left shoulder once you get that left shoulder around the defensive player that means you're going to be in the better position working on really that basket that he got is shooting at the drive and score rodney purvis slashing to the hoop situation against Moore. catch and shoot purvis it rims in a three ball for rodney purvis Got caught in the air. Nolan gives it up. Jump shot. Count it. It's Boatwright. With a They're helping out, too. They're not allowing Boatwright to dictate. Pretty spin. Open look. Facey drains it. Kenton Facey inside, outside ability. Has been pretty quick. Half misses. Hamilton. Gets it help win. Quickly. Boatwright to Purvis. Crossing over. He banks it in. Rodney Purvis has been a difference maker. He has Kennedy as physical. It's blocked on the inside. Grima there knocks it away from Kennedy. Oh, look at the handle with Boatwright. Nice one. Look at the slam. Boatwright, a special delivery to Grima. And you know what? It, interesting iron on that play, too, with Boatwright, the ability to handle the basketball outside. His dribbling was just enough to slow it down so the big guy could get there. The Huskies go up 10. To the Los Angeles native. Gives it up. Grima, the baseline delivery. Amita Grima. Three-play territory this season. Boatwright, the answer. It's a three for Ryan Boatwright of their last eight. And it's a two-point game. Chopper goes. It's Purvis for three. And he went down on the play looking for the call. 15 points for the Raleigh, North Carolina native Rodney Purvis. He came Purvis. Oh! Hey, rock attack! <laughs> Rodney Purvis! See, he has more on him. He can overpower more, and it's a terrific move to the basket by Purvis. It all starts with his confidence going by. Oh! What a finish! Oh! Down in a hurry, didn't it? Purvis swings it to Boatwright. That's an open look. A three. It's that baseline cut. We've been speaking about it in the first half, and he looks at the way he comes. He sets his feet, turns it, knocks it back, giving the Huskies another big lift. Boatwright looking inside. He'll take it himself for the floater. Look at is 9 of 11 at the free throw line. I get it. You get a chance to score. You move better. You got it. Purvis stepping forward. Boatwright. Kick out. Purvis may have gotten away with the travel. Saves it. Boatwright a three. Oh, it goes. Ryan Boatwright. So a good look and look at Boatwright and look up at the clock just then. Good catch right there. One second was left on the clock as the ball was headed towards the basket. A little action on the Huskies bench. Samuel gives it up. Hamilton doesn't take the three. Ten to shoot. Now he will. He puts it in. Hamilton from the through the ups and downs of the season. The tight rotation may have helped that. Hamilton three. Daniel Hamilton drains it. Hamilton makes his move. Corner kick. Jump shot. Samuel too strong on a three. Oh, knocked over to Hamilton. Right place, right time for the freshman. This team has had trouble with SMU. The steal. Rodney Purvis streaking to the hoop. Purvis. Oh, he's got the streak. Counted in a foul. Rodney Purvis with a chance at a three-point play. 
Well, at 6-4-205, he used every bit of it, first on the steal and then the push. Now watch where the ball goes. He tucks it on his left hip. What that does, that assures you that you're not going to get it stripped initially. It forces the defender to reach around your body. And got to get rid of the ball. A little too much dribbling. Ten to shoot. Good matchup right here. Hamilton behind the back. Hamilton. He sticks it. Daniel Hamilton has come alive. See, Hamilton is recognized, and so is Kevin Ollie and the Huskies, that when you're 6'7", you're going against a small guy like Moore, you should be able to get your shot off. The Huskies on a 7-0 run and looking strong. The turnover. Got to look up. Got one. Foot right to Purvis. Streaks in for the two-handed jam. Yeah, they get it done, and they finally beat SMU. Kevin Ollie shares a hug with... One of his mentors, Larry Brown, 81-73 to in the final. UConn defeats the Mustangs. For Jim Spinarco, the rest of our crew, I'm Ian Eagle. So long from Hartford. UConn wins at game two of our doubleheader. is coming up Michigan State against Wisconsin. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports, home of the 2015 Men's National Championship.